Pour yourself a glass and let's get real deep on culture, leadership, and business. Live on the podcast series collection with Claire Rudo. Visit ClaireRudo.com for more. Hello there, I am Claire Rudo and welcome to the Deeper Conversations, your dose of inspiration. We are tackling identity in this week and today we are going to talk about purpose. Why are you here? Why am I here? Why are we here? That's a question that so many, if not everybody, asks themselves. One of the things that I would love to share with the twist is something that I really love. It has four dimensions and I have introduced a dimension I feel needs to come into that picture to help you answer why are you here on earth? And if you plan to go to Mars, why you are here in the universe, wherever you plan to domicile. Hope you're getting that ticket. To Mars, of course. (laughs) Now let's talk about Earth. Let's bring ourselves down to Earth. Why are we here? How can you pave a path to dissect that question? Now, let's talk about something called the Ikigai. It's something that I truly loved to break down the process. It breaks down why you're here, your purpose, into four dimensions. The number one, what steers your blood? What do you love to do? What do you enjoy? What do you get out of bed and want to do without anybody pushing you, without anybody asking you or giving you accountability, whatever you want to call it, accountability buddies? What do you love to do with your own willpower? Number one, what you love to do. It goes into the second dimension which is, what are you good at? You know, I love to do many things, but I'm mediocre at some of them. (laughs) I dreamt that I would be an Olympic swimmer. I swear to I swear to God, honestly, I loved to swim. I was actually in the team, in the backstroke team, but it's not something that I was able to pursue. So it did not go into the things that I was extremely good at. So number two pillar, if you dissect the things you love and branch them into the things that you are good at. You love them and you are good at them. So you have two dissecting parts. That's already pretty good because you are jumping out of bed. You're doing things you love to do. And guess what? You're pretty good at them. Isn't that cool? So now you have two dimensions. Let me bring the third one. What do people want to pay you for? (laughs) I know, right? I know. Well, listen. I have things that I love to do. That I'm really good at. That even my own mother or father would not pay for. Nor my siblings. Simply because of family benefits. They will not pay for that. So what are you good at? That you love to do? That people will actually pay you for. So you've actually found a career pathway. You have three dimensions. But that's not what all life is about. That's not what life is all about. Jeez, that's not what life is all about. You can feel completely empty because we are meant to be more than monetary value, than things we can do, than talent. There are things, people around us, To do more for one person could mean a lot. And that brings us to the fourth dimension, 
What do people need? What can you help someone with? That's a vocation. And if you can balance out and combine one, what you love to do, with two, what you're really good at, and three, what people can pay you for, and four, what people actually need and that you can actually help them in their lives. That's like the center bomb where all these things dissect could be things to help you figure out why are you here? What is your purpose? Of course, this is a seven minute dose of inspiration. I hope that it inspires you. What I have done for us, I've added a dimension, a twist that I think is so important in answering the question for yourself. Why am I here? Let's go into it. So the dimension that I introduced to this Ikigai is well-being. When you find something you love, that you're really good at, that people want to pay you for, and that they actually need and are being helped while maintaining your well-being and keeping that overall well-being within that box within that sphere i truly believe that this is something that you can take time to reflect on those four dimensions with that five spherical encompassing very important thing are you maintaining your well-being are you finding your joy your fulfillment within those dimensions the four ikigai dimensions that's all for today i wish you fun in reflecting what you love to do what you're good at what people actually can pay you for and where you can help people with what they need to improve their lives while maintaining growing your well-being your fulfillment as a holistic person have a lovely hump day. This is Claire. Deeper conversations for you. See you soon again.